Last time on Rompa V3 Killing Harmony. Don't tell me he's gonna try some drastic shit like blowing up the entire- Can no one see him just flying around in the middle of the night? Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to Rompa V3 Killing Harmony. Damn, that was a good last trial. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was- I was nearly brought to tears when I saw Maki crying, partially just because, like, uh, she's my favorite character, probably in this whole game, maybe? I don't know. It, it could be a close uh, tie between some others, but just, like, I'm so emotionally invested in these characters. When you guys brought that up and you're like, I'm glad you're so attached to them. I have become attached. I've become very attached. I'm very excited to get on with the sixth trial because it's the end of the game, or if it even is a trial, and... As you guys said, to quote you guys, uh, this is going to be a mindfuck. <laughs> it's- I haven't really had that feeling of absolute, like, what, before in an LP? I've definitely been surprised by things, and, uh, I've guessed surprises too, but in series like Rompa and Zero Escape, you never know what's gonna happen. Anything could be pulled out of any hat, and you just never know. And at this point, I feel like all the things they've revealed to us thus far could be lies, and I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Because saying like, oh, the outside world is destroyed, well, they did that in the first game, so could that be a lie in itself? There's so much going on that I, I feel like we don't have any answers, but we're closer to finding them. But without further ado, let's finally get started on the sixth and final trial. Now, I've turned my opinion around, actually. Before, I didn't want to do whatever the extra mode that was in the free time events was. But now I'm feeling like I might actually want to dive into that. I'm feeling interested. So, if you guys are interested in seeing that mode, just tell me in the comment section, because... I don't know, I'm kind of interested now. I'm so invested in this game. <laughs> oh, I guess I should introduce myself. Hopefully, it didn't skip anything, because I think... It just went into rest mode on my PS4 before, so it just should have booted back up to where we were. My name's Makoto. Makoto Nagi, or other M Makoto. I don't have any talents or anything, I'm just a regular teenager. Well, I could be either one. What? This boring looking person is me. Um, who is that? See, even the way I look is normal. Getting into an elite school like this was just the start of my bad luck. I can't keep up with my classmates' conversations or the teacher's lectures. I'm just treated like empty space in the classroom. Oh, is he in another position like Hajime was? At home, my parents are constantly on my case. Honestly, I'm fed up. I want to run away from my daily life. Oh yeah, this is going to turn out great, isn't it? I want to run away and just forget all this. I want to run away and run away and run away and run away and run away. But I'm okay. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> but I'm okay. Everything's all right. I was just having a mental breakdown a few seconds ago, but it's fine. I have a reason to live. I've got something to look forward to. Okay. That's why I'm going to be okay. All right. Man, now Thanks I can just play courage. Fire Emblem Heroes all day. Pure reason I'm alive is because Fire Emblem Heroes. God damn it, I didn't pull that mm -hmm. Nephany today. Thanks for giving me something to get totally obsessed with. Thanks for the strength to keep going. Could it be he's watching like the killing game or something? I'll keep on rooting for you. So please keep trying your best. Is it possible that he's like a fan of someone? He's either a fan of the person doing the killing game or a person that's in a killing game, I feel. And one day, I'll also. God damn it, video game. <laughs> so, are we just gonna start with Kibo? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, I wanted to see everyone's reactions to this. What happened? What did you say? The skull building blew up. What, what happened? Hey. Hey, over there. I turned my head to where Maki was pointing. What the hell just happened to the art? 3D models? Can you guys actually even see? 
if that's Kibo. Is Kibo conscious of where we are? Is he purposely not trying to blow us up? Huh? K Kibo? What was that? K Kibo, what are you doing? Yeah. You're, you're flying. Is it magic? That punk. I don't know what he's planning, but it looks like he's attacking the school indiscriminately. You need to hurry up and stop him. If we don't get caught up, we'll get caught up in this mess if we don't. Wait. How do we stop him? He's like 50 feet off the air and he looks awesome. All right. We have to talk to him. We can get him to come down. Hey. It's dangerous, but let's go to the courtyard and try to get his attention. Oh, my. Yeah, you're right. Confused by the situation unfolding in front of us, we ran to the center of the courtyard. Is he even going to recognize us or is he just going to be like, you're despair. You're all walking despair. <laughs> and then he just looks at his, at Shuichi's a Hogan, like sheds a tear. Yeah, it's like a battlefield where we're losing. Damn it! We need to get a, we need to get his attention. We need him to come down. Please, Kibo, come here! Hey! He tried to get us killed. Kibo, please, Kibo, come down and talk to us. I sh I shouted out to Kibo, who finally came to a halt midair, and slowly flew down to us. Oh, it doesn't look like he wants to just eliminate us. Hey. Here he comes. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Kibo, we're buds, right? Did you call for me? <laughs> I love how he just flies down after all. He's like, hey guys, sup? <laughs> Please keep it brief. I have other matters I must attend to. We appear to not be his enemies. Huh? I was busy blowing the shit out of the school. Are you guys really stopping me right now? Other matters? Yes. I'm going to end this killing game. Huh? End the killing game. Indeed. To do that, I must destroy the Ultimate Academy for gifted juveniles. Uh, wait. That would just be killing us. It would be a killing game for you. <laughs> what did you to say? destroy it? That's right. The killing game cannot go on if I destroy this school in its entirety. Could it be? Oh my god, that's logic. <laughs> there can't be a killing game if everyone's already dead. So that's why you have that weapon. Hey. What's with that weapon and jetpack? Yeah. I obtained this equipment from my lab. Huh? You had equipment like that in your lab? Yes. I made some modifications to drastically improve the power output and functionality. Wait. Since when have you been able to do that? You didn't level up or anything, right? <laughs> Did something happen? Uh, um... Didn't you say that you didn't want to use anything from the lab? Right. That's right. You don't look... You don't like looking sci-fi. That's right. Yes, I wanted to be treated like a real human. A creature of flesh and blood like you all. I have decided. But I no longer have the luxury of clinging to that wish anymore. I... My course is clear. I must destroy this academy and end this killing game. You can't! Uh, hold on. If you do something like that, we'll die too, you know? <laughs> um... There's no oxygen in the outside world. There are no living things. We're only able to survive because we're inside this spaceship, you know? Right. That's right. Are you, are you trying to kill us too? Yes. If my actions result in your death, so be it. Huh? So be it. That's... Monokuma told us that despair is our only choice. That hope does not exist here. Unfortunately. And unfortunately, he's right. As long as this killing game continues, only despair awaits us. No. Wait, we still have hope. Remember. Our hope is everyone here. Our friends who are still alive. You're right. Yeah, if we all work together, this, even this killing game will- 100% I will not stop. I will never stop. What should we do? And even if we did manage to stop this killing game and escape, where would we go? Earth is destroyed. Humanity is extinct. We have no home to return to. What? That might be true, but th still, this has no reason to blow up the school. <laughs> Which means- Monokuma is right. The spare is all we have here. We simply do not have the power to change the outside world on our own. Everyone! All we can do now is refuse to submit to despair. Hey! And you would be willing to let all of us die to accomplish that. Logical. It is far better alternative than allowing Monokuma to continue the killing game. In what way? What was uh, that? Are you serious? Listen closely. Kaido and Kokichi gave their lives to end the killing game. We must do it. We should follow their example. We should be willing to give our lives to end this killing game. What do you mean? Is that your inner what your inner voice is telling you to do? No. No, I can no longer hear that voice. Huh? You can't hear it anymore. That's right. For some reason, my inner voice has gone silent. The decision is my will, my choice. I have decided. I have chosen to modify myself and destroy this academy. Everyone! We can never submit to despair because we are students of Hope's Peak Academy. No. 
N no, that's wrong. I I can. Why? Wrong? That's. Because there might still be hope. There might be a place we to call home. Well then. And what are you basing that claim on? That's wrong. Nothing. <laughs> but I just have a feeling. You. Just a feeling. You sound like that idiot right now. That's what I was about to say. Because. Kaido said so. It's just like Kokichi said. If this game's rules matter so much, someone's watching. Okay. There can be no killing game without an audience. Um. Hope's Peak Academy was the same way. It was a killing game made for an audience. Well, I mean, this theory does fall apart when you include the second game. This track is called Real Slash Fiction. That's... Could this be fake again? This game must be the same way. There's... There is... Wait, someone is watching this somewhere. There's someone left. There's still a possibility. <sighs> True, we cannot say there's absolutely no possibility, but even a mere possibility... No, that's wrong! That possibility is our hope! Jeez, Suichi. Huh? What? Because... We haven't investigated anything. There's still a lot of mysteries in the school. There's still questions to answer, and we haven't found the truth. Um... And that means we can't give up. We can't give up before we even reach the real truth. I see. Spoken like a true ultimate detective. I understand. I have decided I shall not blow you all up into shit. Mm. <laughs> Very well, I shall cooperate with your attempt to stop this killing game your way. Thank you. Kibo! Listen closely. But you have until dawn, I will not wait any longer than that. <laughs> huh? Until dawn? Yeah. There's... wait. Though dawn here is simply an illusion projected onto the dome, you cannot stop the killing game by dawn. 100%. I'll destroy the ultimate academy and end the killing game myself. <laughs> oh, I didn't think you'd actually interject. <laughs> You're gonna do what now? You're gonna end what now? Exosols? Ah, didn't I tell you? It's impossible to end the killing game! Cause the killing game is forever eternal! Why you He's back. <laughs> Attempting to destroy this precious property is more than a violation of school regulations. It's an act of mutiny. That's enough. So what? You are sorely mistaken if you think I will allow this to continue. Hmm. Ah, is the robot malfunctioning? He must be. Why else would he try to defy me? Let's do this! Yeah, let's kill him. Okay, fun fact for those of you who just finished watching Shadows of Valentia. Mana Kid's voice actor is Camus. That's Camus in that robot. <laughs> then then let's kill him until he dies from it. Hell yeah. Or it could be Eisen, <laughs> judging from that line. Ripping a robot apart isn't gory at all, so I can go all out this time. And that's that. Pops, can we kill him, please? <laughs> Ooh, they're all so brazen because they don't have any hair downstairs. Okay. Aww. Well, any last words? <laughs> yeah, they're all in battle mode. Everyone. This place is dangerous. You all need to get out of here. Kibo. Kibo, are you okay? Yeah. Suichi, please find this truth that you mentioned earlier while I stall them. Well then. It's all in your hands now. Now go. Okay. All right. Really? So we have to... Never forgive rule breakers. Anyone who messes with the killing game must die! You've already broken the rules like several times yourself. Exosols, assemble! You also allowed us to break the rules several times. No, I won't let you run amok anymore. This killing game is over. God damn it, Kibo, so awesome now. In the name of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbol of hope itself, I will destroy the Ultimate Academy and bring down this monument to despair. I love how ridiculous this has gotten. I'm absolutely loving this shit. Because, like, the end of Don Europa 1 was rather normal. The end of Danganronpa 2 started getting a little insane with giant Junko, and this one's just gone all out, and I love it. <laughs> that's how it began, the war between Kibo and the Exosols. I was about to say hope and despair, but I guess that's kind of the same thing. The Ultimate Academy became a battlefield. Interesting. I really like the setup once again. I'm so excited. Goodbye, Danganronpa. Wait, goodbye, Danganronpa. Is it possible that this is the last game? Like, permanently? I remember them saying that this game was a chance for them to reboot the series. And I know it's probably kind of difficult to come up with proper ideas at this point, because their ideas have been so out there, and they keep going up in scale. I do hope there's another game, eventually. I may be like, I don't know. <laughs> I may be really a lot older before another game comes out, but 
I'm sure someone would probably want me to play that one too. <laughs> we ran into we ran to the entrance hall trying to escape the battle that was unfolding. Still curious what the V3 means at the end of the game title. Things have become really bad. So the robot uprising finally happened. It's what I always feared, but <laughs> why you? I never expected it to be like this. <laughs> why? But why did Monokuma leave a weapon like that in the research lab? He's pretty careless, isn't he? What? Oh, they're fighting. Yeah, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Right? Hey, what should we do? Remember. Just as I said before, we need to find the truth in order to end this killing game. What's that mean? Okay, but what do we need to look for? <sighs> Obviously, we need to find the real identity of the mastermind behind the killing game. Easy. What? The mastermind? Is it really a mastermind in this academy? I feel it's weird that everyone literally forgot about the elevator with Rantaro and all that shit. I'm surprised Kibo didn't just blow those elevator doors open so we could go down <laughs> with all the firepower he has, you know? The mastermind? Is there really a mastermind in this academy? Because If the outside world is destroyed, then the mastermind must be in the school, right? Kokichi wasn't the mastermind, then in that case... I don't know. But I thought the only one saved by the Gopher Project were 16 students. Nope. Don't you think it's possible someone may have infiltrated the Gopher Project? That's right. That someone could be the mastermind hiding somewhere in the school. Um... Someone? You mean a remnant of despair, right? Then someone else inside this academy besides Kokichi's a remnant of despair? That's true. If we can find them and kill them, then this killing game should end. Uh, um... I don't know about killing them, but there is a possibility that the mastermind is hiding somewhere in this academy. This complex is huge. There must be places we haven't explored yet. That's right. It seems like it's worth a shot. But... And that's not only the only thing we have to find. To truly end this killing game, we must find the mastermind... Uh, this mastermind of despair. That's... And also find hope. Do you guys even know what you're saying anymore? <laughs> I feel like you're just throwing hope and despair in your sentences and hoping they make sense. Hope? Remember. Our home. Where we're going to live after this killing game ends. I know there's hope out there. We have to find it before we leave. This isn't some fictional story, so I don't think things will work out that well. Hey! But if we look for it, we might just we might just find it. If we don't try, we'll never find anything. Okay. So we have to try. That's true. Since Kibo's distracting the Exosols, we don't have to worry about violating school rules. Okay. I mean, if even if we all got out of here, literally, there must be other rooms. Wasn't there that? Oh, right! You're right, there's no point in complaining. Let's all just do what we can. <laughs> Well, well, if we all work together, everything will be all right, right? Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be difficult. No matter how impossible it seems, we'll accomplish it. Maki. Okay. Yes, that's right. Now all she can right. smile when she wants to. We need to find this open despair hidden in this academy. When all is revealed, this killing game will end. I... Wow. Hey. Let's split up and start searching. Oh, thank God. I was going to be like, okay, so Ichi, we're all just going to stand in this room. You search the entire goddamn school. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to split up. But we were in just such a united mood. What? Well, we don't have enough time left to all go together, unfortunately. You're right. Right. We'll see each other soon. All right. All right. I should go too. We need to end this killing game before dawn. Ah! <laughs> that scream. That yell. Exosol? Boom! <laughs> and it... Oh, through the back... What? A hole in the floor? Oh, that means we can get to the basement without having to use the elevator. Hmm. What? A hole? They are very lucky they left, or else they would all be dead right now. Now it's time to test your bonds with your friends. It's time to dawn and... Wait... The time to dawn and bond your friends will be displayed. If your bond increases, you can move large debris? So work hard to end this killing game before dawn breaks. What the hell does that mean? What? There's a staircase. Why is a staircase here? Was this staircase supposed to be unlocked by a mysterious item? Hmm. There must be clues here. I have to investigate. Weird. Is it actually a timed investigation? That's kind of cool. What the hell? What is happening? Okay. Okay. 
So Ichi's just like, oh, I fight for my friends. And he's just smashing the rocks out of the way. Like, Maki's just sitting up there investigating, and you just hear, like, Suichi screaming, friendship, from the basement. And she's like, what the hell is he doing? What the hell is this play? Uh, Hope's Peak giant door. It's broken, but from this door, hmm. must be an ultimate lab. It isn't open, but there's only one ultimate lab left. Okay. It's Kokichi's, the ultimate supreme leader's lab. This door isn't supposed to open. Per the rules, if a student dies before their ultimate research lab is opened, then that lab will remain closed. Wouldn't it be more realistic if, like, Kokichi was a leader of, like, a country or something? Because if so, that sounds a lot more realistic than, like, I'm some kid who suddenly organized a supreme evil organization out of nowhere. That's nothing. Either that or he's, like, leader of the Remnants of Despair and that's what his thing goes to? I don't know. But Kibo's explosives broke the door. I should be able to get inside. I have to go inside. The hell is this? Dice? What is dice? Hmm. So this is Kokichi's lab. It certainly does have that evil organization feel. There's nothing... Are you kidding me? This looks like the Bat Cave. <laughs> nothing would identify the Remnants of Despair. Let's show them that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to Despair. Hope? Despair? <laughs> well, as Kaido didn't know... At the time, Kaido was in the Exosol. But he didn't seem like he knew anything about the Remnants of Despair. Of course, he didn't see the flashlight. Kokichi and Kaido weren't there when we used that flashback light. Yeah, but even without that memory, the truth is the same. If this lab was made for Kokichi, there should be some link to the remnants. Hmm. Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. I should investigate thoroughly. By that, I mean use investigation vision so I can see everything. There are matching shoes and suits of many colors here. If this is the Ultimate Supreme Leader's lab, are these uniforms for the other members of the organization? I don't know. Are those supposed to be disguises? Yeah, an afro and funny glasses and a monocle. He also has gas masks and stuff. Huh. There are some unsettling objects here, gas masks and handcuffs. There are also wigs and glasses for disguises, I imagine, but they seem comical. Hmm. <laughs> this doesn't seem like something a remnant's despair would use. Are we getting at that he's not actually a remnant of despair? A large table. One I imagine is used for strategy meetings. There's nothing of any particular interest on top of the table. So the race car. Ah, a supercar. Wait, what the hell is a supercar? Is this the kind of thing that members of this evil organization drive around? But wouldn't evil organization really want to drive around in such flashy hmm. cars? It's more like a child's idea of what an evil organization would have. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. Kokichi's pretty childish. A toy helicopter? Is this Kokichi's? Can I hit it? I want to hit it. Wait, what? Oh, that's just the friendship power level, I guess. Zuichi, I have something to tell you. Uh, who are you? Fight for your friends, especially if they're fluffy. I, I don't know what you're saying. Fight for them, and he just slowly fades out while screaming. <laughs> this is Kokichi's chair. Definitely something a Supreme Leader would sit in, but also feels off. It's all too cliche. It feels as if those... If, as if this entire room is just an elaborate prank. What else? Is there any... I guess the dice symbol would make sense. This must be the emblem of the organization that Kokichi leads. But do the Remnants of Despair put up emblems? That doesn't look like an emblem. It looks like a... like a clown face and an E? Don't really understand what that's about. Helicopter controller. This looks like... Uh, it looks like the controller is over there. Is there anything actually- Oh, what's that? It's a book. There's a collection of files here, bound like a book. Huh? Complete History of Hope's Peak Academy. I picked up the book and began rapidly flipping through the pages. And inside... Oh? Okay, so it's all the, um... So that picture apparently in the upper left is the glass-stained windows in the trial room. Oh my god, it's been so long since I played Danganronpa 1. It's been so long! Wait, who's that guy in the bottom right corner? I don't remember him. Unless that's... I, I don't know who that is. Information of on Hope's Peak Academy, Future Foundation Remnants of Despair. Hmm. 
This is a history of the battle between hope and despair. We've already remembered all this. We know we know this information. I don't suppose it'd make for a particularly useful clue. I don't suppose... No, something's not right. Something's off, because the thing's written in this book. Got a minute? Do you really have time to read a book? Investigating, Maki! But Maki! <laughs> like flinch and surprise as Maki peeked at the thick book in my hands. What? The complete history of Hope's Peak Academy? What's the point of reading this now? You already remembered Hope's Peak Academy of the flashback light, didn't you? No. Yes, I thought that as well. Hey! Oh, Maki, this was perfect timing. Will you come with me? Huh? For what? Is that all right? I need you to tell me everything you remember about the history of Hope's Peak Academy. Why? But why? That's... I need to check something important. All right. <sighs> I don't understand, but I seem to talk about it, right? <laughs> she gave me a big, almost theatrical sigh and started speaking in a bored narration. <laughs> hope, 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 hope. It all began at Hope's Peak Academy. The biggest, most awful most tragic event in human history. Correct. The world was plunged into ruin, and humanity into the depths of despair. This tragic event was caused by a lone high school girl. The ultimate despair, Junko Enoshima. Correct. In order to fulfill her plans to plunge humanity and the world into utter despair, she organized the killing game of Hope's Peak Academy's 78th class. I forgot how many, uh, classes there were total in Hope's Peak. For some reason in my mind, it registered as, like, it was a brand new school that opened. But I guess it's been a while. Trapped by the ultimate despair, the 78th class was forced to participate in the killing game. But in the end... Junko Enoshima died at the hands of the very killing game she masterminded. With her death, the despair outbreaks ended, and the world slowly began to recover. But the remnants of despair continued to carry out Junko's legacy of despair. I love how every single person in that organization looks nearly exactly the same. There's this old guy who's like, I've been fighting despair before you youngsters were even born. I know this mustache looks really, really fake, but it's not, I swear. The Future Foundation was established to fight against them, and their war raged on. Until one day, when the war suddenly ended. The meteorites, right? You can skip that part. <laughs> Is that alright? Do you remember anything n about the new Hope's Peak Academy? <sighs> As for Hope's Peak Academy... Is it going to bring in the anime into this? It was later rebuilt by former members of the Future Foundation and resumed operations. They continued to scout students who possessed ultimate level talent. And that's all we know. This doesn't make sense. No, that doesn't make sense because what Maki just told me is exactly what I remember. Then what is written in the book? Are these just lies? Or are they... Ah! Ah! <laughs> I turn one of the pages almost without thinking. What's wrong? What's wrong? No. Uh, it's just... The afterword written on the page, or the last page. Hmm. It says that these documents were collected by several esteemed researchers. This is the most thorough, accurate book written on the subject. Hmm. Well, it says it's the complete history, so what's the problem? The problem is, if this is true... What? We can't ignore these inconsistencies. We should investigate more. In order to investigate this... I need to know more about Kokichi. I found this in his lab, after all. Hey! Maki, I think I'm going to Kokichi's room right now. What? Why Kokichi's room? I'm... I have to verify something. I have to determine which things he said were truth and which were lies. Okay. Including if he really was a remnant of despair. What are you trying to pull? Ah, uh, there's no doubt he was a remnant of despair, because in that memory... Okay, okay. Well, whatever. If that's what you want to do, then I won't stop you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I would never have imagined this. That Kokichi's lie might be the breakthrough we need to find the truth. What? Uh. What is happening? Uh. What is this? What's happening? 
Did he just black out? Oh, Monokuma said a retroactive flashback light. Isn't that right? Oh, it's that kid. Hey, what's going on? Hello. Are you one of the chosen for the Gopher Project? Gopher Project? I saw you on a flyer on the ground. That's the remnants of despair's doing. Gopher Project participants are classified. Are you one of them? I'm really good at remembering faces. Yeah, I get that a lot. Just a case of mistaken identity, I'm afraid. They're all students from Hope's Peak Academy, aren't they? I'm just a normal high school student. I don't have any special talent. I see. But you look just like him. Don't worry about that. Hey, listen, should you really be outside right now? The meteor... I'm not scared of them. What? Because my dad told me the Future Foundation will take care of those meteorites. Your dad lied to you, I guess. If the Gopher Project succeeds, then the meteorites won't fall down. No, I've heard the Gopher Project doesn't exist to save us. Have you heard the rumor? All the participants died in an accident. You're wrong! They didn't die! How would you know that? Because! Those people are the heroes that will save the world, right? The Gopher Project wasn't created to save us. Never mind. Heroes don't die! Heroes don't give up! This is weird. I have no idea where this is even going. That's why they're still alive! Because they're heroes! Heroes? Ah, uh, ugh. That was a memory, right? N no. It's from that flashback light. Yeah, Monokuma did that earlier. Ooh, this flashback light has a special effect. Is this... Suichi, just now. Uh, okay. That must have been the flashback light, the one that Monokuma used after Kaido's trial. Huh? After Kaido's trial? Hey. Hey, what did you remember? Uh, um... That memory was when I tried to get away from the Gopher Project and threw away my talents. Oh, yeah. I remember the same thing. But why did Monokuma give us that memory? And will we experience another flashback like the one we just saw? I don't know, but I can't hesitate now. Hey! Maki, let's focus on the investigation. There are a lot of things we need to check. Well... You're heading to Kokichi's room, right? Then I'll go with you. Huh? Huh, you will. Because... There's something about him that concerns me. That's why I want to check. She looks worried. Did that flashback? Do you want to die? What? Do you want to die? Uh, uh, no, it's nothing. Let's go. Even so. A hero, huh? Maki gets so mad easily. You have increased your bond. You can move more debris than before. She's going to stay here? Okay, see you later, Maki. I don't have time to be talking right now. Does that mean... I don't know who the last person I would increase the bond with is. Unless Kibo's gonna take the time to talk to me. He's like, hold on, I'm gonna stop fighting Monokuma so we can talk about our friendship. Oh, I see. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I'm not going that way. Can't go this way yet. We don't have enough friendship points. I guess we're going back outside, even though that's super dangerous. This ending is, like, the most action-packed yet. Like, the other endings didn't have any sense of urgency to them. Whoa. I need to be careful. Well, I don't mean urgency, but they didn't have, like, a sense of... I need to go. I need to do this now. Come on. Come on, move. Screw it. I don't even know what happens if you run into one, but I don't want to find out. Oh, Maki's following me. That's why I gained her. She's physically with me, helping me push. Okay. That makes more sense than the power of friendship is making Suichi get abs. What? So this is Kokichi's room. Um, do you, do you not find the cutout of Rantaro on the wall alarming? I don't know where he got all this stuff, but he hoarded a lot of things. It's unsettling, but we should investigate right. it. Right. By investigating this room, we'll learn more about Kokichi. Kokichi said that he was a leader of an organization opposed 
opposed to the Gopher Project. In that effort, he tried to take the position of the Mastermind. The flashback light helped us remember that that organization was the Remnants of Despair. Kokichi was the leader of Remnants of Despair. But is that the real truth? I feel as though there may be a lie in there. Yeah, there's a lot of shit going down in this room. Look at that. There's a board over here. I wish it let me zoom in. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wanted to look at that. I'm sure it wasn't that important. Wait, that's just there? We're gonna ignore it? It's not important? How is it not important? Why does Kokichi have a horse head on his bed? It's a monocubs pad. They were given to all of us as motives during Kurumi's case. The motive videos were switched up, and we each got someone else's video. That's true. I don't believe this video, this motive video is Kokichi's. Then... There's no point in looking, is there? No. No, we should check. I want to know what he knew. It would explain his actions. I touched my finger to the pad, the video started playing. I wonder whose this could be. Alright! Back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video! Oh, does he have his own, or is that... Who's the most important person in your life? And what? Kokichi's... Does it give you, like, Ron Taro? Is Ron... Does he personally know Ron Taro? Kokichi Oma, the ultimate supreme leader. That's quite the, uh... Quite the group he has. He caused mayhem the world over as the leader of the secret organization, DICE. And by mayhem, I mean petty nonviolent crimes and harmless pranks. <laughs> Anyway, Kokichi had ten loyal goons working for him. These goons were like friends and family, the most important people in his life. But then, a terrible event befell those precious people. What kind of event? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> I mean, that helps a little bit, but... You seem to have no. found out. So this was Kokichi's motive video. Why? Why did he have his own motive video? Did he exchange it with someone else? No. Or maybe he was given his own motive video from the start. Like Kurumi. I see. Oh, so Kurumi wasn't the only one who got her own motive video. Well, either way, it doesn't matter anymore. That is true, but the content, but the content of that motive video is disconcerting. It's inconsistent with the information we already know about Kokichi. But what can I deduce from that? Kokichi's motive video. I never thought that a motive video would be a concern now. Kokichi gathering all those pieces of evidence was coincidence, right? Perhaps. Collected evidence. He took all the evidence with him? Oh, this is the hidden camera I set up in the library. And this is the inner tube that was floating in the pool. Ah, This is the book from Kate's child seance. That punk. He was gathering all the evidence from the past incidents. The murder weapons aren't here, but why on earth was he gathering all this? <sighs> now it's pointless to try and understand what he was thinking. You're right. Perhaps you're right. Probably just got bored and he's like, TOYS! <laughs> there were several cardboard boxes filled with documents. Hmm. These look like blueprints. Huh? Blueprints. Wow, look at that rainbow gun and that lightsaber. Is that a Bayonetta reference? That kind of looks like the Bayonetta gun. Blueprints. This is stupid. They're mostly drawings of childish fantasy weapons like ray guns and beam swords. Well, <laughs> I wonder if the Electro Hammer and Electro Bomb blueprints are here. Maybe he drew whatever came to mind and then selected a few for me to create. I don't understand. Looking at everything, a lot of these childish designs seem impossible to create. That's... That might have been Kokichi's intention. Huh? His intention. Remember. He could have prepared a few fake blueprints to mask the real ones. It's nearly impossible to check all of them lowering... Uh, check all of them, lowering the chance someone would find it. Hmm. You mean there might be something important hidden among this stuff? You're right. I believe that it's a possibility, but we don't have time to look. Then... Then I'll do it. Huh? Huh? Maki took a seat in front of one of the boxes and began searching the blueprints. Uh, um... Maki, you should investigate more closely. Investigate what more closely? We looked at, like, everything. With furniture and lighting, this room is identical to mine. Am I crazy? And perhaps there's nothing here? Is the game broken? 
Hey. Hey, I wanted to ask you something. Oh, 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 you just told me to leave. Huh? What is it, Maki? Well... Kaido believed that Kokichi, he believed that someone's watching his killing game. What do you mean? What do you think? I'm... Kokichi does have a compelling point. This killing game only makes sense if there's an audience. Why would any- why would there be all these rules designed to make it more interesting? Because... It's just like Junko and Oshima's killing game from the past. Hmm. Monokuma is particularly strict about upholding rules and livening up the game. Is it because someone's watching? But we're all that's left of humanity, aren't we? I don't understand. Even if he did say it was to show someone, there's no one else alive, right? I wonder if someone really did infiltrate this place. Uh, okay. Yeah, that is a mystery in itself. But all mysteries conceal some truth. There's still a truth to find in this killing game. Whether that truth is hope or despair is another matter entirely. Killing game has been- yes, I know the killing game existed! That covers just about everything in Kokichi's room. Hey. If you're done, you can leave. I'm going to check the blueprints. But, but, but because we rely on you the most, especially in this situation. After all, you're Kaido's sidekick. Maki. Well... Before you go, I found something strange, and I want you to look at huh? it. Something strange. Uh, um... This isn't a will. <laughs> What's this? Is this a real will? Is this... I think it's a real will, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's fake. He was a liar, after all. But if it's real, why did he leave it? Could it be... He left us in... He left us this information in case his plan failed. Huh? He did? I don't... Th I didn't think he would do something like that. Well... Well, we should look inside, then we'll know more. When I opened the envelope. Small pieces of paper fell out. Huh? Huh, second message. The wall next to the boiler in the rear garden. <sighs> That's all. It's probably another one of his horrible pranks. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. We should investigate just in case. This might be an important clue. Okay, okay. Do whatever you want. Just don't waste any time. It'll be dawn before okay. you know it. Yeah. All right, I should head to the boiler in the garden. We're almost at the halfway point. I'm not sure if this is an actual time limit or it's artificial, because that just looked like it skipped a whole shit ton. <laughs> oh, wow, I feel dumb. I for completely forgot what this room's actual purpose was. The wall next to the boiler. What could it be? Perhaps it's just a prank? The wall next to it. Uh, um... Around here? This area used to be covered in grass. It's been completely removed. It shouldn't be hard to find oh. it now. Ah! Oh. I let out a gasp when I saw it. Twins B. Huh? Twins B? Is this the second message? What could it possibly mean? If it was written by Kokichi like the other message, they meant to be read together? Then... In that case, it seems as though this message is incomplete. This world is mine, Kokichi Oma. Uh, this twins? This world twins? Kokichi Boma. I don't know. <laughs> Kokichi Boma. Yeah, that's it. The first, I figured out the first time. It's not happening again. But this is incomplete. What was Kokichi trying to tell us? More? Uh. Again? Those always... I mean, they look like Suichi's eyes. I thought they were Kaede's at first, but... They're Suichi's. Is that Nagi? Suichi Saihara, do you have your ultimate memory back? Yes. Oh. I guess he, Is he voice acted? I can't tell. Sorry, my sound's really low once again. It doesn't sound like it. As the headmaster of Hot's Peak Academy, I want to ask you. Please cooperate with the Gopher Project. I do feel bad about this. I know how much you all wanted to run, even if it meant no longer being ultimates. Those of you who have to live on like this might be the real victims here. But the only people who can go through with this project are you 16 who haven't been infected. The fate of humanity rests on your shoulders. The fate of humanity? I'm kind of curious because... There should be more immune people than just ultimates, am I correct? I find it weird that they only chose ultimates. And I mean, of course they can't get everyone into space to live forever, but... I don't know, it just, it sounds weird that 16 people who are all ultimates are all immune minus Kaido. What's the point? Huh? Even if this ridiculous mission is a success and we all survive, what's the point? Why try so hard to save the seeds of humanity? 
I don't understand. Perhaps you'll be the ones who will create that point. It's true that this situation you're all being forced into is harsh. So harsh that you think it'd be better just to die. But I still want you all to live. For those of us who want to live, but can't you 16 who can live our hope itself? So please, I don't want to see you give up hope. I want you to keep hope alive. Why did it pan up there? That's kind of weird. Oh, my head. I remembered something again. That's it. We were at Hope's Peak and we participated in the Gopher Project. That moment I heard crumbling above me. Can you guys quit this? Oh, hi, Kibo. Are you alright? Suichi, what's wrong? Are you alright? <laughs> Kibo! Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry, I experienced a sudden flashback and my hand slipped. Then... Uh, do you remember too, Kibo? Yeah. Yes, we were at Hope's Peak Academy, about to sign for the on for the Gopher Project. But... What is Monokuma thinking, having us remember that now? As I thought. He's probably trying to make us feel despair again. Despair? No, but these memories. Something's not right. It's not just I want to make you feel bad. I guess now's the time to get friendship points with Kibo. Are you all right? How is your investigation going? Will you be able to end the killing game your way? Uh, um... oh, it's going to be fine. I really just started. There are a lot of areas in the academy we haven't investigated. Hmm. Areas that you can investigate. Hmm. Rentaro's lab is also inaccessible thanks to Monokuma's ridiculous rule. Okay. That's right, I'm concerned about that too. If only there was some way to get in. Um... I will help you! Huh? Help me. Logical. By destroying the door to his research lab so you can enter it. Well, that's... If, if you could, that would really help. Please! Then please head to this lab and I will meet you there. I'm worried. Just, but be careful. Monokuma will be after you for conducting an investigation without his permission. The Exosouls may not kill you outright, but they'll definitely try to stop uh, you. Okay. Right. Listen closely. If things get dangerous, call me and I will deal with the Exosouls. Huh? You're going to help me, Kibo? Yeah. I'm not your enemy, that's why I'm helping you with your investigation. But only until the time limit expires at dawn. Oh, you're so cool! See ya, Kibo. Metal Gear Kibo. <laughs> only time until the time limit, huh? I suppose he's still hell-bent on destroying this academy. Still, you've changed, Kibo. Is it because of the situation or because you can't hear his inner voice? Right now, I should focus on Rantaro. He died before revealing his ultimate talent, but he seemed to know more than we did. Hey, I have a question. Are pancakes really cakes? <laughs> this might sound a little weird, but... Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell to anyone? Before we even remembered that... Wait, before we even remembered that event, he knew about the ultimate hunt. But why? I'll see some clue that will lead us to the mastermind. All right. I'm going to do everything I can. No giving up. I won't give up on hope. I need to keep hope alive. And to do that, I need to get inside Rontaro's lab. Congratulations, you've unlocked the Kibo gun! <laughs> Hold X or R1 near an Exosol to fill up energy. When the energy is filled to the max, Kibo will come to save you. Use it as you need it. Cool. Oh, Kibo Gate! <laughs> this is awesome! This is amazing! The best visual novel ever made. Although, with all the things, I'm not sure if you can call this a visual novel, but screw regular visual novels. <laughs> They're not weird shit like this. Time to get to Rantaro's lab, but it's all the way at the top floor of the school. Sorry for interrupting, but there's info you gotta know. Hold uh, XR R1 near an Exosol to ask Kibo for help. That's it, there's no trick to it or anything. Kibo, help! Give it to me, everyone! <laughs> That's awesome. Let's head to Rantaro's lab. Wherever that is. I don't remember the way, really, but... Oh yeah, it was this way, towards Gonza's lab. Then we head up the staircase. Oh. 
I remember this chest. This is the chest that the flashback light was in that Angie grabbed. I miss Angie. <laughs> It's been a while since I've actually walked around the school like this. Like, unless I'm searching for the Monocub dolls, which I kind of stopped doing eventually. <laughs> um, I stopped kind of walking around, trying to get everything. Those all look like Easter eggs on the stairs, I just kind of noticed. Oh yeah, that's right, and down the... Help me, Kibo! Leave it to me, everyone! Hops! Yes, thank you, Kibo. Oh, the gauge is a little hoge on it. I see it now. Wow, they're fully embracing that. I love how ridiculous this game is. I can't. Okay. Hey, there's a, there's a little guy. Hey there, buddy. I could be your angle and your devil. There's probably going to be another one down this hallway, isn't there? Okay, Kibo. In Taro's lab, if Kibo breaks down this door... Oh my god, he's so cool! He's like sky riding almost. And not me, I mean like real riding. Shuichi. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> that was one hell of an entrance. Listen closely. I'll destroy the door at once. Please stand back, Shuichi. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Ugh. Please. Well, then I leave the rest up to you. Is there any way el Wait, if there is anywhere else you would like to access but can't, please call me. I'll blast the door- I'll blast open an entrance for you just like I did now. Thanks, Kibo. Just as soon as he came, Kibo left. Hmm. Anywhere I'd like to access. We can go anywhere with Kibo's help. Does that mean I could get in there, too? No. No, Rantaro's case first. I need to get investigate his lab. Something about the place behind the bookcase, finally. Time to see what his ultimate talent was. I guess, like, terrorist. All right. What? I'm trying to connect this. Was he an ultimate bank? Was he an ultimate gambler? It's hard to tell. It looks like roulette. But it... Oh, God. Look at the X's. Is he actually the ultimate terrorist, like I thought? I'm finally in. So this is Rantaro's lab. What kind of room in this is this? It's almost frightening. Hmm. What was his talent? I thought I'd understand once I came here. Oh. I don't get it at all. Wait, how'd you get in here? Oh. Himiko! Hey, sweetie. Was that explosion the sound of you breaking down the slab's door? That's pretty drastic. No. Oh, it wasn't me, it was Kibo. <laughs> but what even is this place? It's got an awful atmosphere. There's no magic in here. Okay. It looks like some kind of puzzle room. I misread that. I thought that said pizza room at first. <laughs> it's me, Ultimate Rantaro, Ultimate Baker. Then. I'm sorry to say a terrible Italian accent. I don't even know if I have any Italian views. I've never talked to one before, but if I, if you see this, I'm sorry. Because I don't know what Italian people actually sound like. <laughs> Aside from generic stereotype I've heard like three times. So maybe he was the ultimate quiz king, and he <laughs> and he got that title by winning game shows. Hmm. I'm not sure. We should investigate That's first. Fine. And I shall help you. He <laughs> he <laughs> Be happy. Legendary mage is your sidekick. Uh, okay. Yeah, that makes me feel better. It's really hard to tell what his talent is. Pig, rat, fox, tiger, rabbit? There's a clue somewhere in this academy. Is this a vault? But it doesn't look like a normal I vault. Think. This vault door is like a puzzle. Look at the two dials. Hmm. The dial on the right is labeled A, and it has a bunch of Chinese zodiac symbols on it. But the one on the left is labeled B. Wait. Okay, yeah, you're right. It has a bunch of different astrolog ast astrological signs on it. So it looks like if we move both the dials to the right things, the vault will open. Um, it says something about a hint somewhere in the academy. Eh? Yeah, was there really a hint? It'll 
will be okay. Well, we don't need to think so hard. We just gotta try every combination. How about that? So there's 12 zodiacs, Chinese zodiac symbols, and 12 astrological signs. It's just 12 by 12. Uh, um, 144. That's too many to try all the combinations at random. What was that? Then do, then do you know the answer? Because I don't get it at all. Hey, wait a minute. Let me think. There's an A and a B dial, one with Chinese zodiac, the other with astrological symbols. And a hint somewhere in this academy. I'm sure I can hey, solve Shuichi. this. Shuichi. Shuichi, I know I yelled at you just now, but talk to me and you're stuck. With my magic. <laughs> that should help you have an epiphany. I am a legendary mage after all. Okay. Yeah, thanks. There's no time. I have to try. I should inspect these dials. If I can't figure it out, I'll ask Himiko. I can't figure it out yet either, but we'll see. Should there be a hint somewhere? So it's somewhere in the academy. It's no use, it won't open. I can't do this blindly. If it lets me leave, there are plenty of things I can still investigate. Okay, it's not the entire academy, it's just this room. Let's investigate everything first and we'll come back to that. Hmm. A laptop. Ah. Oh, this looks promising. My magic's telling me this is important. You're right. There might be a clue in here, I should check. Looks like it still works, I should see what's on here. Hmm. Huh? What's the matter? What's the matter? Uh, um, it's empty. What's that mean? Empty? What does that mean? No. There's no data in it at all. Oh my! Why, why even put a laptop here if it doesn't have anything interesting on it? You're right. Seems like that's the case. But... No, but my magic reacted to something. It, there's gotta be something. Check it better. Check it better? What was that about magic? <laughs> what does that mean, check it better? Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'll ask Kimiko. Himiko, somehow help me. Huh, a hint somewhere in this academy. I wonder if it's like a diagram or some letters. It'd be a big pro it would be a problem if it's some big object. Well, I've almost got figured out. Do I have just enough mana? I feel as though I'm right on the cusp of discovering something. Perhaps if I keep talking to Himiko, something will come up. Wait, wait a minute. Twins? I'm not even sure if that's what it means. Himiko, I'm too dumb to do this. Help me. Then. A, a, a dial labeled A with ch 12 Chinese zodiac signs is labeled B with 12 astrological signs. So we need to think about A, B, the Chinese zodiac, and astrological signs. There are clues to opening this vault. Uh. Yeah, I feel like there's something, but. If I talk to her enough, will she just give me the answer? Uh, yeah, clue somewhere in the academy. I just can't think of any. Tell me. He was hidden really well. No. no, it must be a hint of some kind. There would be no point if no one saw it. Could it be some psychological blind spot? Mm. Psychological blind spot? How? Huh? That's a magical concept. Huh? Magical concept. I'm a mage. Hmm? There's a technique mages use when casting spells. Okay. For example, we cast big spells, we add a bunch of flashy over the top stuff. How about that? We have the audience focus on all that stuff to hide the source of our magic. A source of magic? Like a method behind it. <laughs> of course, magic is very advanced, you know. Even the source of magic for my spells was leaked. Not just anyone could copy them. I usually don't need to hide it, but it's better safe than sorry. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. Anyway. Maybe a clue was hidden from us like that. Probably already saw it, but we don't know it's a clue yet. Hmm. Something we already saw. Oh, that's it, Himiko's right. Kokichi's message. Horse A, oh my God, I forgot about that. When Gonta first saw the message, it read Horse A. Maybe Kokichi adding to that message was just a diversion. Oh my god, I never would have figured that out. I completely forgot what that originally was. Thinking about it that way, the other message. Twins B. Oh, I get it now. Twins B. I could have just brute forced it with the twins. Those two messages are clues. Oh my god. I feel bad when I do this because I feel like I've been spoon fed the answer. Wait, how did Kokichi know right. this, though? Yes, it opened! Yeah. I don't know how, but it opened. What does all this mean? Is that alright? 
The hint in the academy is the message that Kokichi wrote. It was a clue for these dials. There's a lot of things that Kokichi knows that I'm just like, how did he know that? <laughs> the original message was written over. Remember. When Gonta first saw it, it just said horse A. Kokichi added more to it. But that was just a diversion. Horse A was actually a complete clue. Oh my! Oh, I see. So the A dial should be on the horse. Hmm. So the Chinese zodiac on dial A was horse. The other hint was hidden in the rear garden. Remember. It said twins B. I see. Got it. So the B dial should be on Gemini. That's it. Yes, the astrological zodiac on dial B was Gemini. <laughs> She's so happy she got it right. Yeah, so that's what it meant. Thanks to your deductions, everything's all cleared up. Why? But why did Kokichi add all that stuff to it? That's true. He was trying to make himself seem like he was the mastermind. He needed us to believe it. He was trying to be the mastermind. Uh... Yeah, causing problems even after he's had such a pain. Um, Let's see what's in the vault. If it was difficult to get in here, there must be something important inside. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. It's okay if I barf first. Do you feel nauseous when you're nervous? I peeked into the open vault and found a USB stick. That Monokuma pattern must mean there's something here, but how do we check inside? We plug it into the lab top. Hmm, I could use that thing in this lab. <laughs> hey, Miko, have you never used a USB stick before? It looks like it still works. You know, it's surprising that this computer is able to read a USB stick when it has no operating system on it. If I put the USB stick in here, I should be able to check the data. I, 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 I grabbed the USB from the safe and plugged it into the laptop. I found a single file. Could it be? A video? Open the file and is it going to be there a video of a uh, TV Rantaro? Yeah. Hey there. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? Taken by surprise, I gasped and stopped the whole stopped the video without thinking. Hey! Well, what is this? <laughs> Sorry. That was Rantaro, right? I think. He probably recorded it before here before he died. No. No, that couldn't be the case. The video was clearly recorded in Rantaro's lab. If I remember correctly. But we were only able to get inside this room just now. No. It was supposed to open up after Gonta's case, but because Rantaro was already dead, it was locked permanently. But thanks to Kibo, we were able to get inside. But. Knowing all that, how could Rantaro have recorded a video in this room? Yeah, that might be true, but shouldn't we check the video first? Uh, okay. uh, yes, right. I turned to the laptop once again, and with trembling hand, I played the video. Now I get to hear what he says at the end. I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. Guess I should start from the beginning. First things first, I am you. No tricks, no actors. It's you. Is he talking to you as in Shuichi, or you as in Rantaro? The reason you don't remember recording this is because that memory was erased. Think of this video as a message from the Rantaro before you lost your memory, to the Rantaro after you lost your memory. Well, he's still saying Rantaro. So, let's get to it then. The reason I recorded this footage. I won the right to a special perk for participating in the killing game. Part of that perk is this video message. Monokuma said he was going to make some kind of puzzle for you. But the fact that you're watching this means that you've solved it already. Oh, he solved the puzzle we just solved. Also, you can't share this with anyone. If you catch Monokuma shooing anyone away from you, that's why. Or when he says, I am you, does he mean that he's Kokichi? But Rantaro and Kokichi were in the same room, so that doesn't make any sense either. Because the people to see this must have been Kokichi, Rantaro... Perhaps original Rontaro and us. So this video could be directed at three people. I have a better Himiko, which is in the same room, and I highly doubt she's relevant in this right now. There's another part to this perk. Something you get at the start of the game. I bet you know what I'm talking about. Something you've had from the start, yeah? Now, I thought that if you were smart, you'd have used it to end the killing game. But if you're watching this, that obviously didn't work out. Life's never easy, huh? Well... Anyway, that's the perk. Other than that, you're just like all the others. Did he have a key card to get into the lab door to end the killing game? 
but since Kaede murdered him, the entire killing game went on. Oh my goodness. You go in, they wipe your memories, and you start killing. That's the way it is. Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case, this killing game will continue until there are only two people left. Now, the important part of that rule is that... <laughs> Looks like they didn't want me saying that, huh? Guess you'll have to solve that little mystery. But hey, you're smart. I know you can do it. Oh, there is one more thing. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing game. That's why you get this perk. The survivor perk. So that's his perk. He's the ultimate survivor. Does that mean that he has survived a bunch of killing games before this and he's really good at it? But it's not all fun and games. Anyone who finds out who you are is going to come for you. So watch your back. Trust no one. <laughs> Build an army. Trust no one. And never forget. You wanted this killing game. So you have to win. No the truth what. is Rantaro was Dorcas all along. <laughs> no matter what. Rantaro's video message has been added to the truth pole texture monopad. Huh? What is this? This is this isn't the first killing game. A killing game that he wanted. What's that mean? Shishuichi, what did all that mean? <laughs> Who was Rantaro, mommy? If I remember correctly, I'm glad you're able to keep up with this at least a little, Himiko. He said that he survived the last killing game, and that the video. Is part of the survivor perk. Then he was the ultimate survivor, an expert at death games. Why? And then why did he die so quickly? <laughs> Remember. Remember what he said. His memories were erased. Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. What's that mean? But the one that was coming for him, was he was he talking about Kaede? No. No, she didn't know Rontaro's identity. She thought he was the mastermind. Hmm. And who's the one that knew Rantaro's a true identity? Could it be... The real mastermind would have known. Then... In other words, the mastermind hidden in this academy set up Rantaro to be killed. Uh, okay. I believe so. Well... For now. Hmm. And he said he wanted this killing game. Why would he want that? Uh, he hadn't done such a stupid thing, he probably wouldn't have been killed. Another killing game. Why was he even participating in the first place? What was the other killing game? Because the killing game is... I don't know. There was another thing. Rantaro said his survivor perk had another part, right? What was that other part? You're right. He said it had to... He, he said he had it at the start of the game. But when we found his body... If I remember correctly... All he had on him was his room key and the monopad. And that monopad was the same student handbook we had. Then... Then it might still be left in his dorm room. Okay. Yes, it could be. I never imagined Rentaro, the first victim, would come up again like this. I did, because we know nothing about him. Uh, uh, again? It's happening. F flashback time. <laughs> Yo, Shuichi! I heard you're finally going to take part in the gopher project. Yeah. <coughs> are you okay? Are you sure you're not overdoing it? Why are his friends, like... I thought there was some sort of virus here that was going to kill everyone. You're the one who's overdoing it. You should be resting at home. You know I can't do that. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to go to school. It won't get any better if I rest anyway. Hope's Peak Academy is working hard to create an antivirus. Even if they do find a cure, the meteorites are still going to be a problem for us. You guys are pretty chipper considering you're, considering you're all going to die. <laughs> hey, man. Don't look so sad. You're about to go on an adventure, right? Then why are they so happy for Suichi? That's weird. Now that I think about it, 16 boys and girls going on a space trip together. You guys gonna do it? <laughs> they were thinking the same exact thing I was. What are you guys talking about? Congrats, Shuichi. 
I heard there are some hot girls there. There is many. I told you, don't look so sad. I don't know if I can stand it. I'd have to leave everyone behind. You have to go. I'm begging you. Huh? <laughs> Shuichi, you're our pride. You know that? Wow, a lot of people seem to have looked up to him. Wait, is that kid with the mask on? The kid that talked to him from earlier, but he's grown up, or is that someone else? So he looks like he could be the same person. It looks like the same kid with a bull haircut that talked to him like five seconds ago. <coughs> yeah, you have to do it. For us. We're leaving everything to you. If things get too rough, then just remember all the fun times we had together. And why are you guys not afraid of hanging around in the same room with the diseased dead virus guy? So, don't give up. You're our hope. I'm everyone's... Uh, that memory. Why did I have to remember my friend now of all times? Uh, um, this is Monokuma's doing. He's made us remember this. But why? Why make us remember that? That memory is no cause for despair. Right. That's right. There's no way we can give up. I promise I do my best for them. There's no way I can give up. <laughs> okay. So we're looking for the other part of Ratara Survivor Park, right? Leave it to me. Yeah, I'll check this every nook and cranny of this room with my magic, of course. <clears throat> Breathing hard, Himiko ran off. <laughs> what does all this mean? What are lies and what is the truth? Well, we're level two now. Increase your bond. You can move more to breathe than before. Okay, um, I'm actually going to end this episode here. We'll get the next two bond points next time. Um, if you guys are enjoying the series, as I know I am. Please leave a like, it helps a lot, and if you want to become a member of the Dust Brigade, just click subscribe. I'm super excited to get on with more with this, uh, but right now I'm going to end the video. See you guys in the next one, right now.